Shushwath Lake is, is well known. It's the houseboat capital of Canada, Sycamus. There's hundreds of houseboats on this lake and it's, it's really known for that. But I think a lot of people overlook the fishery that's here and, and how amazing this fishery is. They're all natural wild fish and uh, in different times of the year, it can be very, very productive out here. Uh, this is the main lake that I guide on. It's shaped like a big H and it's a, it's a really big piece of water. And we'll always catch fish when we're guiding. It's just we fish them different styles. We go from bucktails on the surface in the, in the spring and early summer. And then we start really downrigger fishing them and getting down into the different depths. You know, the fish finders, we can see where the fish are living, different thermoclines, temperatures in the water that they want to live at. My name's Jason Bellows. Uh, I own Bucktail Adventures. My wife, Sarah, and I run, own and operate the business. We are based out of Salmon Arm and I moor the boat in Sycamus. So most of my clients come to Sycamus, meet us there, and, and uh, we fish Shushwap Lake mainly. We've got bourbon in here. The kokanee are pretty strong. Uh, the rainbow, of course, the lake trout. We've got, you know, Peamouth Chub in here, Rocky Mountain Whitefish in here. We've got the, the pike minnow in here. Um, and then all of our salmon that return to the system, you know, there's, there's a real variety of fish in here. So I think that's kind of an attractive part about coming on a trip, you know, here on the Shushwap or fishing this lake is you never know what you're going to hook. So a couple of years ago, we, uh, we were talking about the guiding business and, and with this store, it kind of fits with our retail store, the hunting fishing store in Salmon Arm. And we were gonna sell the house and move, try and buy some property to, to raise our kids. And the house didn't sell, so, so my wife and I figured out ah, we, uh, we would start this business and, and buy the boat and do the guide business. So the boat we bought is a 27 foot Kingfisher. It's very comfortable. You know, there's not, a, there's not a wave or any weather out here that we care about. Uh, it's got a head on board, heater in here. So it's comfortable for, for people to bring their wives and kids. And that's really what I cater to and want to cater to our, our families and, and getting guys to bring their families out here and enjoy some good fishing together. The Shushwap system, you know, when we started, when I was a kid out here and, and we fished as a family, it was, it was a tough fishery because it, it was treated as a bit of a meat fishery. Um, these fish are all natural and wild and, and it was a worm fishery so it was full bait and, and really the wild west. About 20 years ago, 25 years ago now, they changed the regulations out here and they've gone to one fish a day and only five a year on a tag system. So we have to buy a tag for this lake. The reason they've done it is, is to, to bring the fishery back and to protect the fish. Um, the, the size of a rainbow, by the time it's that 50 centimeters, we can we can confidently say it's spawned at least once and passed on its genetics. Whereas the lake trout are the same, they're real slow growers, so by the time they get to 60, um, they've, again, they've sexually matured and they've passed on their genetics. The lake trout typically don't mature until they're eight years old. They grow about a half a pound a year. So they're real slow growers and, and we want them to, to at least spawn before they're harvested. This is where I grew up, and uh, it's it's a pretty special area. The, the lake is gorgeous. There's lots of lots of good scenery. There's stuff to do here, and uh, and for me, hunting and fishing, you know, that it's British Columbia is the mecca for that. So we're pretty fortunate to be here.